If you came looking for a movie about horses, then you should probably look elsewhere. I know, I'm just as disappointed as you are. Hey everyone, it's Nathan Ornstein with The No Show, here to talk about Jeff Baina's Horse Girl. Horse Girl stars Allison Brie, Debbie Ryan, John Reynolds, and Molly Shannon, and is written by Jeff Baina and Allison Brie. Horse Girl follows Sarah, played by Allison Brie, a bit of a social outcast who works at a craft store. She becomes convinced that every night she's being abducted by aliens, and the movie kind of follows her trying to figure out what's going on. This starts to make her extremely erratic, and her paranoia starts to affect her relationships with the people around her. Horse Girl is definitely a movie that shows a lot of promise. It tackles the topic of mental health in a really interesting way, and it often leaves the audience wondering what really happens since things are told from Sarah's perspective. It's an ambitious film in many ways, and often feels whimsical in both its creativity and its way of storytelling. And while I do respect what Jeff Baina and Alison Brie were going for with the story, there are just too many flaws in my opinion that really prevent it from being a good film. In my opinion, the biggest problem is the character of Sarah herself. Horse Girl is basically a character study, and I personally don't think that Sarah is a compelling enough character to make an entire movie centered around her. A film like this hinges on your ability to empathize with the character, and I just never found myself able to do that. She's painted as a social outcast, so I understand what they were going for, for by making her kind of weird and off-putting to some people, but it's almost like they forgot to give you a reason to actually like her, if that makes any sense. I think this possibly could have been remedied with a bit more backstory, but as it stands, I couldn't be bothered to care about Sarah, and I often found myself just as annoyed with her as the characters that had to interact with her. I think that Alison Brie gives a genuinely fantastic performance as Sarah, but I really do wish that character was written better so that performance didn't go to waste. While I do think that Sarah's characterization is the worst part of this film, the rest of the writing really doesn't fare much better. As I mentioned before, you're often left wondering what's actually rooted in reality and what's something that might have just been from Sarah's point of view. And while I don't have an inherent problem with this type of storytelling, in fact some of my favorite movies are like this, I don't think that Horse Girl manages to pull it off. I think when you step back and try to examine the narrative as a whole, there are a lot of pieces that just don't really seem to fit, whether or not they're from Sarah's version of reality or from ours. It's disorienting, and not really in like a creative artistic way, but more in a frustrating way. The last act of this movie feels especially messy, and while I do think the ending was appropriate, I couldn't really explain what happened in the narrative that got us to that point. And aside from that, there are also just quite a few points in the story that felt either out of place or like they needed a lot more context. As for everything else about this movie, it's just kind of average. I never felt bored with it, but I don't think I ever really felt entertained either. It feels like a standard Netflix movie, and while that isn't bad by any means, I don't think it's necessarily good either. At the end of the day, I think this is definitely going to be one of my more subjective scores I've given. While there are definitely some major flaws in the screenplay, I can definitely imagine people liking this movie a lot more if they're able to connect with Sarah's character. Unfortunately, I wasn't, despite a great performance from Alison Brie. Since this is a Netflix movie, I would definitely recommend checking out the first 20 minutes or so. And if you do feel a connection to Sarah's character, then yeah, you might like this film overall. As I said, I do respect what this movie was going for, I just don't think they were really able to achieve their goal. And while I do understand if you were to give this a much higher score, for me personally, Horse Girl is a 4 out of 10. As always, thanks for watching guys, and feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you've seen Horse Girl already, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I'll be reviewing Downhill within the next few days, so click that bell to get notifications for whenever I post. I've been Nathan Ornstein with The No Show. See you next time.